Holt was one of the hardest hit communities in Tuscaloosa and leading up their recovery effort will be the county probate judge. Residents will vote on who will fill that seat in the next few months. WVA's Winnie Wright sat down with all three candidates to see what their thoughts are on Holt's future. Three men are running to become Tuscaloosa County's probate judge. Tuscaloosa County Sheriff Ted Sexton, Tuscaloosa County Commissioner Don Wallace, and incumbent and, uh, Hardy McCollum. WVA asked them what their overall vision would be for Holt recovery. Uh, the people of Holt are formulating their own plan. Uh, I think that it would be my position that, uh, that I need to be there to support uh, the folks or the people of Holt as they move forward. Uh, they need to be at the center of any decisions that are made in Holt. I'd like to see Holt uh, as a uh, more vibrant community with our, uh, our schools, getting our schools uh, upgraded. And I know folks are working very hard over there, but so we've got uh, older facilities there uh, with our schools. Long term, uh, what I would like to see happen in Holt is the completion of the bypass, which changes the economic dynamics in Holt. Next, we asked the candidates what would be the first thing they would like to see happen in Holt if elected. I think, again, that comes back to whoever the commissioner is in that area, uh, working with the commissioner and the people of Holt. Well, I think right now we still, we still have some cleanup. We still have houses that need to be cleaned up, and it's not just those that are affected by the storm. There are other areas of Holt that uh, have dilapidated housing that are eyesores. What we need is uh, to see recreational facilities uh, made available in the Holt area working with the community that would in fact be a focal point for the community to come together. In Tuscaloosa County, Winnie Wright, WVA News. And Sexton and Wallace will be facing off in the Republican primary on March 13th. The winner will face current probate judge Hardy McCollum in the general election on November 6th.